Hey everyone, this video is going to be another Jewel Mint haul or product review, whichever you'd want to call it. I'm going to call it a haul because there's more than one thing. Um, I wanted to put two products in one video as opposed to last time I did one product, one video. I showed you the, um, the earrings, what were they called? Chain Reaction. So this time I want to do two products because I have another piece of Jewel Mint coming in the mail soon and so I wanted to um, kind of get this video over with and do two at one time because I'm pretty excited about the next uh, item that I'm going to be showing you which is probably in the mail and it's on its way and I think you're going to love it. I think you're going to love these two things as well. Okay, anyways. So let me get started on the things I wanted to show you. Um, you know, here's the little boxes again. Of course, they come in the little boxes with the little ribbons. Uh, the first thing I want to show is... I showed you the packaging last time, so I'm not going to go on and on and on and on and on about packaging. I'm so used to the lens being over this way that I keep looking over here, but it's over this way. I forgot that I switched it around. This is not cool. Anyways, um... So the chain reaction earrings actually came on this little, uh, let me show you. Here I go, on and on and on and on and on about packaging. It came on this thing because it was earrings, so they had it hooked onto there. But the other two pieces of jewelry came in this little bag, which I love because there's so many uses for bags like this. You could carry change in your purse if you wanted to, or carry any of your jewelry in here in your purse, or you could store your, your jewelry in different places in your room. Or, really, whatever you want to put in here. Um, <laughs> sorry, I thought the lens was over there. It says Jewel Mint on the bag. It's a little black velvet bag. And there's Jewel Mint right there. And it's got the little ties where you tighten the top. And the first piece I want to show you is the Soul Mate Bangle. I love bangles. I love them. I love this bangle. But I will say it was a little hard to get on. And I actually have small hands. So, and I don't know why it was so hard. I mean, that one was easy to get on. But this little heart right here, it's kind of catchy. It's like I really got to just go, pew. Like I have to really get my hand in the grooves of the heart like this. Like I have to make it like that and really put my thumb in that top part right there and slip it on. Um, it's not adjustable in any way. So... No offense, but if you have, like, huge hands, then there's going to be a little problem. Nothing wrong with huge hands. Some people have big hands. Some people have small hands. I have smaller hands, so I just wanted to say, and I'm not knocking the product because I love it, but it was a little hard to get on. So if you know that you have um, bigger hands or maybe, you know, bigger bone frame in your hands, then you might want to... Um, Reconsider getting the soulmate bangle, but it's all up to you. You know what? Buy it. Give it to a friend if it doesn't work out for you because it's a really awesome bracelet. It's a circle and a heart. I'm not sure if I showed you that yet. I know I had it on in one of my videos. Maybe I haven't posted that video yet. I think I did, actually. I think it was that 15-minute video. I don't know. That's besides the point. Anyways, so a little note, as always. Simple yet stunning, this bangle combines two wide silver plated cuffs that are connected. Kate and Cher, XO. So, yeah, that's the soulmate bangle. And I love it. So, there you go. And next I'm going to be showing you something that I really, really, really love. I wore it to church one Sunday and one of the chicks there, she's like, what is that you have around your neck? I'm like, oh, <laughs> it's just this new necklace I got. Because it kind of, like, it'll throw you off guard for a second. And you'll be like, hmm, what is that? But I picked it out out of a large selection of jewelry. And I really, really love it. I love the look of it. I just think, um, I think it's different. I think it's sexy. I think it's uh, really... I don't know how to explain it, but I think it's really cute. So, anyway, 
It's called the Renegade Necklace. It says, this edgy design was made for a rebel with a fashion cause. Break the style mold with this 20... I love you too. Shut up. With this silver plated 20 inch necklace, a daring 3 4 inch hardware pendant hangs from a substantial, why are they giving me all these measurements? I don't know how to say measurements. 13 and a half Rolo chain. Rolo! Get to the nuts and bolts of style and let these metallic fixtures give your look an unexpected twist. And boy, I tell you, it does. I think it's so cute. Whenever I first show my dad, he's like, what is that? Okay, here it is. <laughs> okay, this is the top part. Okay. Then it goes into this. Okay. Then we have, like, some bolts and stuff down here. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's like what do you call it? Tools. Not tools, but like a screw or something. Hold on, let me show you. I just think it is different. It's a little fierce, I think. Um, like I said, I think it's sexy. I think it is pretty out there and different. And I think a lot of styles, like different people with different styles could wear this very easily. Anyways, my camera cut out as always. But anyways, what I was trying to say is I think this piece could actually work with a lot of different styles. Um, I think if I had a pair of blue jeans on or something, or maybe some black dress shorts with this plain blue tank top, I think it would work just fine. Um, I think you're supposed to wear it with more plain pieces. Maybe if you had on a simple black sexy dress or something um when i first wore it and i wore it to church i actually had on a plain black muscle shirt and some black miss me jeans that had like some designs on the butt and probably sandals or cowboy boots i don't know um i guess it's all up to you how you want to wear it on jewelmint.com they have like a style guide which kind of shows you how to wear it Okay, so this is really funny, but when I was recording earlier, I actually, <laughs> my mom texted me and said the show was on. I've been waiting all day for Pretty Little Liars to come on, and I don't know if any of you know this. Probably you don't, because I've never talked about it before, but I'm obsessed. So I had to, I was like in a nervous fit. I had to take the necklace off, put my overalls back on. Ah, it just ended. Can you tell I've been laying down and the lip gloss is gone? But anyways, um, so I remember the last thing we were talking about was looking up, like, how you're supposed to wear it. So, on the website, um, you can actually Google Renegade Necklace and beside it type Jewel Mint. You can Google anything, really. Um, Google Renegade Necklace Jewel Mint and then... There will actually be a link that you'll see. I just clicked on the first one. It said jewelmint.com slash jewelry slash renegade dash necklace. Um, it shows like a solid dress. So let's see if I can show you here. So here it shows a solid blue dress that you can wear it with. And then over here, see this is what's so cool about the website. They give you an example of something. And this is from Kate. Then from Cher, the other person that she's partnered up with, um, she gives her input on it. Here's the necklace. Um, it tells you what to wear it with, what it's perfect for, what it's inspired by. Um, and then over here, they show you like really detailed pictures of the necklace, which is really awesome, I think. And then here's an example picture of something that Kate Both Bosworth, <laughs> Bothworth, Bosworth is wearing with the necklace. And um, then down here is a video where they talk about it. So I thought I'd just share that real quick because I know I was giving my input on how I pretty much think you could wear it with anything. Um, you could even wear it if you were really gothic. I could imagine like somebody extremely gothic wearing this. And it, it kind of reminds me of a, um, um, whatchamacallit? It kind of reminds me of a dog chain. <laughs> Maybe that's why I picked it out. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I just think it's cute. It's crazy. It's different. It's somehow sexy. 
it's uh, pretty bold and bolt ish. I don't even know what that's called. Is that a bolt? Are those bolts? I know it's not a nail. I don't know. I think it's it's pretty hot though. So yeah, that was the the other two pieces that I got from Jewelment. The first one was the um, I always forget the name of it. What's it called? Let's see. This was the Renegade Necklace. Oh, Chain Reaction. There it is. Chain Reaction Earrings. And then the other one was the Soulmate Bangle. So, okay, I'm going to shut up. I uh, just thought I would share those with y'all. I'm absolutely in love with all three pieces. And I cannot wait to get this other piece in. And God knows what else I'm going to be ordering from there after this. Um, I'm like addicted. I'm even addicted to just looking at the website. Just to look at the how it's set up and all that. I think it's just fun to go through the, the designs that they've picked out for you. Um, and you can save them like in your favorites and look at them later. You can pick one and buy it or you can, you know, kind of like a little shopping cart where you put a couple, whatever you call it. I don't know. I think it's a little thing called jewelry box. Whatever. It's just an awesome little setup and I think it's fun. So, um, yeah, so I will see you again next time uh, when I get my next piece in. Hope you like those. That was the Renegade Necklace and the Soulmate Bangles. Alright, subscribe and thanks for watching and don't forget to check out Jewelment. I'll post the link down below. I'll also post the link to the Renegade Necklace in case you want to check that out. And, um, yeah, okay. Bye!